Well, hello everyone. A little bit of a different video. Here you see some of my backyard that looks like a jungle. You can't even see all the stuff that's here. There's my original 32 model, 32 Series B international skid loader. I've had almost 40 years. Hasn't run in probably 10. Uh, it's pretty rough shape. I'm gonna use it for parts for, you'll see some of the upcoming projects. There's my co-op E3 tractor, sadly sitting outside. Years just go by, but that's gonna wind up in one of those chopper boxes I bought this year. Uh, oh, that building over there is a concession stand from the local, local firemen's park. They used to serve free sweet corn once a year out of it. I hauled that home. But what I'm really here for is to uh, show you the husk frame for my Meadows mill, sawmill. It's a wood frame sawmill. Uh, I purchased it from the original buyer. He bought it new in 77. They still built a wood frame one in 77. Uh, the husk frame is still good enough to be used as is. I've been keeping it covered pretty well. You can see here it got sun to it, but it's still good and solid. Everything else has to be replaced, but I wanted to show if any of you watch them, I don't know, but check them out. The Tractor Rescue Ranch, Tom. Oh, then uh, I think he's in way western Wyoming, right close to the border of Idaho and Wyoming, or Wyoming I believe. Or is it Montana? I don't remember. I think Wyoming. Anyway, I wanted to show him he had to make these bolts for he's redoing a Corley sawmill and the bearings look so familiar and he had to make these bolts the bearings look exactly the same but his mounts are different for the that hold the bearing but I just told him I would do a little video to show him what the bolts look like uh, and he's basically duplicated them other than not having a square head on the end here i guess he's just putting a screwdriver slot in them the ones he made so tom there those bearings are and uh you're really getting me excited about working on this thing i've had it for over a dozen years and every year when fall comes they say i'm going to work on it this winter and it never seems to happen but now after watching you i really want to get at this i have to get it covered back up here again I have a piece of rubber roofing to put over it so it's the husk frame has been pretty well protected because it's like two feet in the air so it isn't close to the ground I covered up with that rubber roofing and the air gets underneath it so it for the most part is staying dry so like I say Tom that's what the originals look like yours look like they'll work just fine uh, and I'm gonna keep watching you get it going. It keeps me, it keeps this in the back of my head. So I say not a lot of video, but uh, I just wanted to show these to Tom and the rest of you. So hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.